Uh, hello YouTube, back once again with my TV reviews, and I decided I wanted to vlog the show Westworld because usually around this time I would be vlogging iZombie, but that's been pushed back till spring this year, so I wanted something else to talk about during the fall besides Last Man on Earth, so uh, yeah, let's talk about Westworld, because this is a show that has really fascinated me since the first trailer, um, because before then, before the first trailer dropped of the show, I just, I was fine with the concept of it, I was like, okay, like, it's a sci-fi kind of supernatural western thing, and I was like, that's great, um, uh, it'll probably be good, it's HBO, um, I'll probably get around to it eventually, um, it's cool, it has Anthony Hopkins and, uh, Ed Harris in it, that's pretty cool, but, um, I don't really care much about it, but I uh, care, uh, I've had much interest in that. That is until the first trailer drop, though, in which it, it, it went far beyond anything I could have imagined, because I never saw the movie, the original movie this is based on, um, and, like, when it was just, like, it's a virtual world where, like, people can live out their desires, and, like, there's a robot, and it's, like, the themes of, like, what's a conscious being, and there's a mysterious man in black doing some sort of odd thing, and Anthony Hopkins is God, and... It was just, it was so, what the fuck, that I just had to check this out when I saw that trailer. So, uh, here we are, though, with the premiere of, um, Westworld Season 1, Episode 1, uh, the original, and, uh, let me tell you, if you thought that trailer looked crazy, and you thought, and you were hoping this show would be out of its goddamn mind, you, it truly lives up to that. This show is fucking crazy. Um, the, just... Going from the word, just from the word go, just the, just the opening, um, title sequence, I just, I want to meet the person who came up with that, like, it is so weird, like, it's like, it's like, it's like the sound of, like, a nice, like, almost soothing piano score of, of them, like, constructing, like, a horse and a woman on top of the horse firing a gun, and then, like, there's another, like, like, per, like, constructed robot person, like, playing the piano, and it's, it's just, what? Oh, I was like, what is this show? So, um, anyway, from there, uh, yeah, so, concept of this show, in case you don't know, um, the concept is, is there, it's the, uh, it's an unspecified time in the future, um, and there's, there is a, for the very wealthy, there is a, basically, a, there's an amuse, I guess you can only really call it an amusement park called, um, Westworld, and which essentially is, it's, um, it's basically, if you ever wanted to, if you want, if you ever wanted to play Red Dead Redemption in real life, this is what it is, like, if you pay to go there, you get to live your li live life in the, um, early 1900s, uh, during Westworld, during the Wild Wild West, and, uh, you can basically do whatever the hell you want, there's no negative repercussions, you can shoot pe you can shoot people, you can be a hero, you can be a villain, it's all up to you, you can kill civilians, you can, you can kill outlaws, you can rape women, you can j be a hero, it's, and before you say, why, why would you want to do any of those negative things, I, I'll just say, remember guys, like, Games like GTA or Red Dead Redemption, they do, they do play to the fact that we do like, to, if we, there, if we could do horrible things and not have negative repercussions for it, or not, and, uh, not have to feel, um, uh, morally wrong doing it, my guess is people would do it more than once, uh, so, anyway, so, that's the concept, uh, the show itself, though, is so weird, it's, it's, uh, just, I guess, really, the only way I can describe this is, like, what, like, what the plot was with the, okay, what the characters, because it was a premiere, clearly not interested of, uh, as far as serious premieres go, there can usually be, it can usually go one of two ways, it can either establish its formula and story, or it can establish its world and characters. This was far more interesting in establishing its world than it was in establishing its it's it's selling establishing its world and characters and it was establishing like how this show is gonna play out. So uh yeah, uh it starts off with uh Evan Rachel Wood who plays a uh robot called Dolores, who um she's being asked by someone in like a green dark green room, whatever the heck it is, and uh, 
And uh, then, like, they're her, them asking her about, like, such things like, what do you think of the world? And you and she, like, says, like, she's very optimistic. She only likes to see the good in the world. Like, she's very hopeful about it. And, uh... That she wakes up, what she wakes up, she goes to town, she runs into her old boyfriend who just ran into town, played by James Mars, which I thought was, I thought that was a pretty funny kind of wink wink to the camera, having, of course, James Mars in playing like the dashing uh, cowboy hero. Like, that made me laugh. Uh, then it's just the two of them, like, riding off into scenery, like, like having really over-the-top, corny, romantic scenes with each other. And uh, then when they get back to, uh, get back to her house, uh, uh, her family's been killed by, uh, has been killed by, uh, bandits, and then when, uh, and then, uh, James Marsden saves the day, and everything looks like it's gonna be okay, but then, uh, then at the last minute, Ed Harris shows up, and he, and he starts saying to, uh, both, uh, James Marsden and Evan Rachel Wood, like, oh, you don't remember me, I've been coming here 30 years now, and, uh, and, uh, that, and then just, uh, he kills James Marsden, I did not see that coming, he shoots James Marsden after James Mar he, um, he lets James Martin Marsden, like, shoot him, like, five times in the chest, and, uh, but nothing happens to him, and, uh, then he, then he kills James Marsden, then he rapes Seven Rachel Wood, and wow, that was a dark way to begin a show, um, and, uh, but this is where things got interesting. I was like, uh, I was like, what just happened? Did they seriously kill James Marsden? Was this just one of the biggest like, like just like pranks pulled? Was this just a big prank pulled for people who are like keeping up with the cast of the show, like wondering who was gonna be in it? That James Marsden got a star and credit, and he's only in like ten minutes of an episode. Cause no, cause then she wakes up and. In her bed the next morning, she has no memory of what happened. You see James Marsden wake up on the train, and then when she arrives in on town a, 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 in the beginning, and then you see Evan Rachel Wood go downstairs. She has the exact same conversation with her father outside, and that is when it got really effective. When it, when you start realizing that that's what that's what um, Ed Harris meant that I've known you for thirty years and you still have no memory of me. It's that these the robots their memories reset essentially. That's they if they're killed if they're if anything happens to them, they will be reset, and, uh, so, yeah, that was a very interesting concept, uh, from there, it was very much establishing its world, um, you then, from there, met a lot of the, uh, you met a lot of the human people who make the world of Westworld, and oh my god, let me just say this, I, it was a very effective scene in which you, like, you, they were going, like, through, like, the, um, the, uh, what do you, what, what do you call it, like, the base, the tech, the Westworld base, I'll just call it that, and you just saw, like, them, like, doing something, like, constructing a horse piece by piece, that was really effectively, like, that was a really effective image, but then when you just saw them, like, doing things like, like, checking out the, like, as the robot people, and you just saw, like, all these women, like, with, like, out shirts on, I was just like, oh, god damn it, HBO, can we have one show without grotesque nudity, but, uh, I digress. Uh, so, and then from there, it was just, once again, just establishing characters. Like, you met Jeffrey Wright, who plays the, um, uh, the, uh, technological head of Westworld, in which he, um, in which he's, like, it's an interesting scene in which, like, he's, like, noticing, like, all these small ma uh, mannerisms human beings do and trying to put that into the, and into the robot, so they're able to, like, be closer and closer to human. Then you meet Anthony Hopkins' character, who, um... You meet Anthony Hopkins' character. Oh, and that was another effective scene when they go down into the basement, uh, basement of the facility, and you see, uh... You, uh, just, they open, like, a thing, you just see all these, uh, people, like, well, not people, but robots, like, just standing there, like, completely still naked, just, uh, basically realizing that these are the out-of-commission robots, that was, that was an effectively unsettling image, like, it was kind of like, oh, that, that looks creepy, uh, but, uh, uh, still, though, from there, you then met Anthony Hawkins, who's the creator of Westworld, who seems to have a connection to his robots, uh, I really like the scene when he's just, like, when he's just discussing, like, to, like, one of the robo older robots, he's just, and he just starts saying, like, they, like, they used to be so flawed, like, anything could have easily set them off, and then when he's just having a nice conversation with him, then he just says a trigger phrase on the thing, 
and they're about to take, take, both take to a shot, and then, like, the robot stops, because uh, uh, Andy Hopkins says a very specific line. I, I thought that was interesting. Um, that was cool, but, uh, and uh, then from there, uh, you then keep, kept learning more about the world. You essentially learned that uh, all the an uh, all the robots, um, or androids, whatever the hell you want to call them, uh, they they are all on a very specific script. They're all on a script, but the interesting thing is that script can change if an outside if a guest interacts with them. Like it's a it's a very fascinating scene in which uh, when you because the first time the day plays out in the in the first part of the episode, and you just, uh, like, when, uh, Evan Rachel Wood, she, like, she drops something, I don't know, what, some tin can, a thing, and then James Marsden picks it up, and, like, and just, like, and they're, and it's just, like, hey there, and then, uh, but this time, when she drops it, uh, Ed Harris picks it up, and, instead, and says, I'm, uh, and then from there, all, uh, James Marsden, instead of, Instead of going over to talk to Evan Rachel Wood, he is stopped by other um, uh, guests of the park, and uh, he basically they take him somewhere else. And so Evan Rachel Wood and James Morrison does not play out their what was their pre-planned dialogue of them like running off back to Evan Rachel Wood's house, and uh, instead. Um, Instead, uh, she just goes painting uh, somewhere in, like, the, like, some creek-like area, and I, I, I did find that interesting. I did find that interesting thought, the fact that, okay, so these robots do stick to a script, but uh, the guests can change that. They're, they can change how these, di the day plays out for these robots. I found that very interesting. Uh, the, um... And then from there, uh, anything other really big events happen. From there, I would just more just setting up characters, establishing the uh, the uh, politics of uh, of the company. Uh, I really liked. Uh, <laughs> I gotta say though, uh, e e uh, even though I liked the woman who like who was kept saying like who was like it's been like thirty years, like who is very pessimistic about the West World. Uh, I the one character I thought was kind of over the top. Like I really liked her and. Uh, Jeffrey Wright, the one character in the base I thought was kind of over the top was, uh, this British guy who was supposed to be, like, the writer of, like, one of the head writers of the dialogues of Westworld, and, uh, yeah, he was, he was kind of a bit too over the top for me, um, I will, I just thought he was kind of silly, uh, but, anyway, and then, yeah, then, Stuff keeps happening. Uh, I did find it interesting. Um, I did. I did kind of keep finding a very effectively dark show, which you it, like consistently throughout the episode. James Marsden would die, or something like that, or or it, just something would happen to someone. It would always. It would. It, they would. They kept reusing the same shot of uh, Evan Rachel Wood waking up in the morning with to the same p uh, the same piano music in her room. Uh, it's the same exact shot, and then her going downstairs, and she goes through the exact same actions. I thought that was very funny, the fact that, like, she is very much on a very scripted loop, and so is James Mars, and when you keep seeing him waking up every morning on that train, uh, I thought that was really cool. Uh, and, uh, anything from there, really? Uh, then, then, yeah, just more politics of the company. You learn there's some glitch going on. Oh, here's the big thing I'm curious about this show. Is Westworld, this is what I'm confused about. Is it a virtual reality, or is it, like, just, like, a carved-out section of the world? Like, it's just this wide-open field they have that they're... That, like, people can travel to through the train, like, the way James Morrison gets there every day, but... And, because there's an argument for both, like, for both, because, uh... You can say on the grounds of, like, well, if this is a virtual reality, then, like, why are the... They, um... Why are the uh, runners of Westworld afraid of uh, what's known as a glitch? There's some glitch going on that apparently the and they keep talking about like what if like the one of the robots uh, hurts the uh, hurts the um, one of the guests. I'm like, wait, but isn't this virtual reality? But so I'm like, or is it like can they um, can they not uh, 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 or is this just so I was like, okay, so this has to be part of the world. But then there's the question. Well, then how did and, and Harris survive me like shot five times in the chest and like. Even, uh, when Evan Rachel Wood is being questioned early on by some guy, um, I don't know who it was, uh, when she's, like, um, she's, when just he says at one point, like, well, like, you can't hurt any of the guests, I thought that was, it. I'm like, well, this leads to, then, yeah, why could, Ed, why, um, why could James Morrison, why, how, why, how did Ed Harris survive that exactly, like, 
there is a lot of, well, but then and that, and then, like, how did the workers of the, um, of the, uh, the workers of, uh, Westworld, like, keep showing up in town, like, as instantly, like, when they need to, like, so that's what I really want to see uh, more than anything at the moment. I really want to know, is this a virtual reality, or is this just a, like, basically an amusement park you can walk around in, like, physically? Um, so that's my, that's my big question at the moment. Uh, anyway, though, and then from, yeah, so just more political, uh, politics of the park. You learn there's some glitch going on, and, uh, not much really intra not, not much really happens there, um, from, uh, I guess the most interesting thing to happen is there's an effective scene in which um, the the robot that's uh, is supposed to be um, uh, Dolores is yeah that's the that that's Evan Rachel Wood's character's name right Dolores um uh, you see that he finds a picture that one of the guests left that's a picture of um, that's a picture from uh, of whatever the guest was like in like it what seemed to be New York's Times Square and. Uh, and, uh, that, and when she, when he shows it to Dolores, he's just like, do you know what this is? And, like, Dolores, like, it means nothing to me, because, because that seems to be a thing, that these robots never, qu uh, acknowledge anything that will make them question their own existence, like, because any time, like, Ed Harris, like, what's, cause, like, when he ran to, when he was just saying to Dolores and, uh, and, uh, what's James Morrison's character's name, um, Teddy, um, well, he's like, I've known you for the past 30 years, and, like, that are like even the next day, like none of them ever. And when he runs into Dolores again, just like I'm sorry, Dolores, but I won't be there tonight. I'm like, so, is it like because they they don't seem to question like how do you know my name? How do you know me? Like what do you mean you've known me the past thirty years? Uh, I'm not even thirty. Uh, that was, but uh, so I do like that touch that it seems that the robots are incapable of questioning their existence. Um, and from there, so yeah, but for some reason though, when uh, the uh, Dolores's dad sees this picture like it's an effective scene the same it's the same shot um Dolores wakes up in the morning same shot of Evan Rachel Wood waking up going down the stairs saying her scripted dialogue but then for some reason the um her uh her uh dad is like flipping out and like tells her something I forget what it was uh and it's just saying like he's clearly going crazy like this thing is clearly affecting his mind and the the picture he's still holding the picture and um uh, so then Dolores runs into town, and this actually led to a pretty darkly hilarious scene in which, uh, in which, um, uh, uh, since they're gonna be rolling back, uh, all the, uh, androids that get updated, they d apparently decide to, like, put a script in in which, like, a, a robber that they've been talking about that's in the mountains the whole episode, like, arrives into town and, like, he stages this whole scene, and then the head writer guy's just sitting, like, when they're sitting around the, uh, the map of Westworld, they're just la he's just like, now just wait, he's gonna give a speech that's gonna chill you to the bone, it's a pretty cool, se it's a really cool uh, action sequence of, like, just a shootout in the town, and, uh, that, uh, it was really funny, though, when just the head, of uh, robber, like, the head outlaw was just, like, just starts giving his speech, like, starts say giving his speech, and then one of the random guests just, just shoots the guy in the neck, and then at the, and that and his accomplice, and then just seeing the writer just go, like, God Damn it, I really wanted him to say that. I thought that was really, that was really darkly hilarious. Um, oh yeah, and then that, and uh, to see James, then, yeah, James Marsden dies again. God, that should be a drinking game for the show. Take a shot until time James Marsden dies. Um, the, uh, just, uh, anyway, it was, it was an effectively sad scene, just when you just see, uh, uh, Evan Rachel Wood just crying over his body, and then, um, uh, and then, uh, just one of the workers just going up and turning her off, and, uh, then when they're questioning all the robots they've been updating, um, first they go to the father, and Anthony Hopkins just, he says, like, oh, well, like, he, when he's questioning, um, when he's questioning, uh, uh, Dolores' dad, he's, he's just like, oh, this is just a past personality he used to have, he's just effective, though, throw him into, throw him into the trash, essentially, uh, that, and, um, that, and, uh, then when the guy, so, um, I don't know who the guy, some guy is questioning Evan Rachel Wood, that was a really great scene from acting from Evan Rachel Wood, when he, when she, he's just, like, wake up, and she's still flipping out, and then he's, like, stop, like, flipping out, like, or be calm, and then he, she's, he, she just goes completely blank-faced, and then, and then she starts speaking in, like, her western accent, and then he's, like, lose the accent, and she just starts speaking normally, well, not normally, she looks completely catatonic while she's saying this, um, 
Uh, that was an effective seed. That, and then you, the big reveal was you learn that, uh, you learn that, uh, you learn Dolores to still does not question her existence, uh, that what her father told her meant nothing, and, uh, but, uh, that, and you, that, and then you learn, though, that she is the original android of Westworld, who's con constantly been up, uh, updated time and time again, so, uh, yeah, and then this led to a very effectively, uh, dark scene in the finale, uh, for the closing scene, in which, uh, it's, uh, Dolores, like, giving her monologue again, and, like, how, like, I believe the world's a great place, I choose to see the, all the, only the good in it, just when, cause, like, I think this was, like, the fourth time you got the show of, uh, Evan Rachel Wood waking up in bed, uh, I, when you kind of just realize that, like, basically she's been programmed to, like, watch, like, her family or, like, the love of her life, or programmed love to, whatever you want to say, uh, love of her life, like, die in her hands, like, every day, and she has such an optimistic outlook on life, but it's very sad to watch, uh, like, you're like, oh, this is actually kind of depressing, the fact that she's just basically been programmed to suffer every day, um, and e even though she has an op even though she has a very, she's also been programmed with a very optimistic outlook on life, uh, it's a very sad and dark scene, so, uh, yeah, and, uh, then this led to a scene, like, I've heard comments in line that says this is a big deal, in which, like, uh, then a fly, like, goes on, lands on her neck, and she slaps and kills it, and I'm like, and then they're like, oh, well, that means, um, that's weird, because she's not, because the robots aren't supposed to be able to kill another living thing, well, once again, though, James Marsden shot at Harris, like, five times, like, what was that about, um, I'm so confused. I need explanation for what's up with Ed Harris. Oh, speaking of which, I completely forgot about Ed Harris. What in God's name is Ed Harris up to? That's what I want to know. Um, cause uh, all he did really with this episode was he r killed James Morrison. He raped R Evan Rachel Wood. Then he bled a guy out, cut his scalp. A robot. Uh, he bled a robot out. Then he cut his scalp open. Like the scalp seems to have a. Uh, a, uh, like, code map on it, something, and, uh, then, he, and he's also talking about, like, how this world has a deeper game than most people know, and I'm still trying to beat it, uh, or get deeper into it, uh, so, all I can say is, uh, if this show does turn into just two separate plots, a uh, plot about what's a conscious being and a robot's tr uh, starting to realize that they're not real, like, Evan Rachel Wood and James Marsden not starting to realize that they're just programmed beings and their world is a lie, and it's a philosophical um, conversation about um, you know, what's a conscious or what's a what's true artificial intelligence. That and uh, if it's that, and then the other plot line is a battle of wits between Anthony Hopkins and Ed Harris. I am fucking down for this show. This is that would be incredible. But uh, oh, look, just a quick thing. I can't help but feel like just for the same way I did feel this kind of like a very tongue and uh, tongue and cheek uh, like wink wink to the audience having James Mars to play like a dashing heroic cowboy. Um, Oh, quickly, though. That was another thing about the show I loved. I loved how, uh, I heard some complaints online that the dialogue between, uh, James Mars and Evan Rachel Wood was so, like, bad, was, seemed so corny and stupid. I, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be the joke to a certain degree, that, like, because this is supposed to be a theme park. They're programmed to be basically, uh, attractions at a theme, a theme park, like, um... It would make sense, like, because when people go to, like, a park or, like, want to see production, they do want to be, like, somewhat amazed by this, and, like, it would make sense for things to be over the top to a certain, like, it would make sense for the things to be overplayed, and I thought that was actually a really clever touch, but anyway, like I was saying, though, uh, like, I thought it was a very tongue-in-cheek, uh, uh, reference that James Marsden be, like, a dashing hero, I did find it really funny that it was Ed Harris playing a mysterious man in black, like, fucking everything up and being a really creepy, sick guy, and then Anthony Hopkins playing God when it should be the other way around concerning these two actors, um, uh, acting styles, um, the, uh, but, uh, I do feel that was very much intentional, but anyway, so that was the premiere of Westworld, what a crazy show, um, honestly, I have no idea where it's going, because it's clearly, like I said, was not interested in setting up the, uh, setting up the plot, but more setting up the world and characters, but I can say, great way to start a show, it is out, it is insane, it is interesting, it is violent, and it is and I always love philosophical debates on what a soul or consciousness is, and I really want to know where this is all going. I mean, the premiere was, what, like an hour and five minutes long? I was really sad when those credits started to roll. I could, uh, the time just flew by watching it, so... 
All I can say is, uh, go watch it. It's cr it's completely insane. It's a really nothing else. There's nothing else like it on television. And I do honestly think, like most people are hoping, this could be the sci-fi version for Game of Thrones fans, like the new Game of Thrones for HBO. So, yep, uh, that's all I gotta say. Westworld, what a great start. Uh, YouTube, as always, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.